Having an accountant. Normal or nah? Extremely normal. Okay. Why do you... Thank you. What happened? So yesterday, last night, Mm -hmm. I had my work Christmas party. Yep. I was running a little bit late, which is very, very uncharacteristic. Very of me. off brand. Yes. For Tony Lodge. And someone was like, oh, how come you like? And I said, I was waiting for an Uber for ages because mm-hmm. the traffic was really, really bad. But I had been on the phone to my accountant. Mm. So we don't often need to catch up, really. Um, unless, you know, things are different or I need to ask for advice or whatever. What's going on? You've got and some tax issues, mate. No, I don't Dodging really... the big guy. You're paying your fair share? Well... Those roads aren't free. I'm actually paying too much tax, as you know. We just... Did we talk about that on we the We talked the about day? this on the podcast. You're an idiot. Yeah, I that agree. Every time I, like, have any money, I put, like, more than half aside for tax. Which is ridiculous. Which is, like, not the right way to do it. And anyway, I keep telling you that I'm saving too much money for my tax bill at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And you keep saying, you don't need to do that. And then I say, you're not my accountant. And then we have an argument. Anyway. We don't have an argument. We've never had an argument. I support you all the time. Yeah, that's true. I tell you you're a fucking idiot. Yeah, but, but you still I do support, support me. you. Yeah. Um, so Don't anyway, the two. I needed <laughs> <laughs> I needed to chat with my accountant and just double check. And I literally was on the phone to him and I was like, "Hey, can we make an appointment for in the next couple of weeks, whatever?" Anyway, I get to the Christmas party and everyone's like, "Oh," and I was like, so sorry, I'm late. Like I was on the phone to my accountant. And everyone's like, "Hey, <laughs> got an accountant. Things must be going well." Accountant, and I was like, "What?" All right. To be fair. When you say I'm just on the phone to my accountant, when you say my accountant, I assume, yep, that's that guy you go to one time a year to do your tax for 40 minutes and then you don't see him until the next year. So when you're like, oh, I'm just chatting about some financial issues with my accountant, that's a very different statement. Hence the reaction you received. Well, so are they a bit like, must be nice? How hard it must be for you to need to hire professionals to manage all the money flowing into the Tony Lodge Proprietary Limited. There is no proprietary limited for your information. Well, that's what you should talk to your accountant about. <laughs> Get one. Um, but I didn't tell the people at work that I was talking to him about like a finance thing. Well, what else would you be talking about? But about? no, so I didn't explain at length that I was talking to him about anything in particular. I was like, I'm just on the phone with my accountant. Well, that's what I mean. If you're on the phone to your accountant, the fact you're talking to him about anything implies you have something yeah, to talk about. Okay. But they were all really shocked that I had an accountant. Normal or not? Nah? Why do you think some people just go around their life not having a person? Well, because you can do, cause we've talked about this before, you can do your tax online. Yep. I got scammed. You didn't. You just hired someone. By accident. It's not a scam though. If you no, hire but I, online. I accidentally did I went the wrong on to, thing. I went on to Amazon and I got scammed. They took $26 from me and all these t-shirts turned up. What a ruse. Okay. Well, it was a cleverly disguised website to look like the government one that's supposed to be free yeah, for yeah, innocent yeah. people like me to get scammed. Mate, anyway, I've seen you. You ain't innocent. I don't. I'm not really good with that stuff. I'm very stressy when it comes to doing the right thing. Yep. I like to make sure that I'm paying enough tax, doing all this stuff. Can I give an example of how stressed you are? Please. Your tax is due next September and you called him last week, nine well, it's, months in advance. It's a bit more of a pressing issue is it? Than, um, than that. Yeah. What is the issue? Well, it's not about my tax return. Like it, it's... <laughs> Then anyway, it's fucking. Quick. It doesn't matter what it's about. Apparently, it does. It doesn't actually matter. You're being very what defensive. It's about. You have no, some I'm, finance issues. You got an accountant. I'm not being defensive. I've had this accountant for like four years, so it's not like. How often do you see him or speak to him? Just depends. Oh, no, I talk to him once a year. I talk to him once a year. And a couple of phone chats. Yeah. Um, here's a question. Similar vibe. This, I've actually fucking sold myself out here. I sound like an asshole. You are. Maybe it's nah. Maybe it's not normal. Do I sound like a jerk? Because I don't want to put this in the podcast. Well, myself. it's already on the podcast. <laughs> you have an, a finance people who you're advising, who are advising you. Sorry. No, that, he's not my financial. Ad- have you got a financial advisor as well? Hang on a second. Who's your financial advisor? You know her name. Well, I do know her name, yeah. Her name's Catherine. Catherine. So hang on, let me get this right. Yep. Yeah. You've got a financial advisor named Catherine. Yeah, who I caught up with on Thursday. And then after that, you have to speak to your other finance professional, which is an accountant, on the Friday. Yeah, he's an arts accountant. Talk to him on Friday. What do you mean an arts accountant? He's an arts accountant. What does that mean? 
He's an arts accountant, so he's not just like a normal he's, finance. He specialises in the arts and media industry. Yeah, yeah. He owns an art gallery as well. It's very cool. So, do you get your financial advisor and your tax guy? Do you have a manager? <laughs> yep. So, oh shit. So you're telling me. Do these three people ever get it? Like, do you hire a whole boardroom so all of your staff get can gather around fucked. to discuss your issues? Absolutely not. I talk so to them all Zoom. individually. Oh, geez, that's not too time consuming. When do you have time to. Hey, duh! This is really backfired. I really don't yeah, like it. Did, uh, question. When you introduced this normal or nah topic, where did you think it would go? I thought that. <laughs> I don't know. I, but I really want to take it back. I don't want to sound like a jerk. I sound like a jerk. No, you sound just very important, according to you. I'm fucking not important, and you know that. I do, but you don't. 